So I'm going into the Daft Punk pop-up shop finally. It's Wednesday. The line today, thankfully, is not as long as it was during the weekend. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. Right now it's 10.20. It opens in 40 minutes. I'm going to go get in line right now. But yeah, the line is a lot more bearable than it was this weekend. So hopefully, I don't know, there'll be at least maybe something I can buy that's affordable because I want one, at least one Daft Punk, like cool Daft Punk uh, piece of merchandise. I, you know, maybe like a shirt just with the logo or something would be awesome because I love them, but I don't really have any merchandise from them and I can't really spend a lot of money. So if I could just find something affordable, that would be awesome. So yeah, I can't wait to see what they have. Okay, so the Daft Punk pop-up shop was freaking awesome. I can't believe I spent like over an hour in there. I was in there for probably an hour and a half. Pretty much the entire time I had on my meter. So I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, you're not trying to get back to my car. But I mean, it's small, but there was so much to see. There were mannequins dressed up as them with the, you know, helmets and their outfits, which are so cool. And then uh, John, uh, Julian Casablanca's is his head from the Instant Crush video, like the mannequin, the Julian Casablanca's mannequin. Ah, so cool because I love the strokes. And Julian Casablanca is so it was cool. I got to see his face there in a way. And then you got to see how like 
the outfits, like the robot, like all the lights are connected to the helmet and everything. It was so cool. And I got to see what they actually look like. I, didn't, I hadn't really looked at what the guys look like. So I know there's a documentary, a series on BBC, but I haven't watched it yet. They had so many cool things. I really liked this like jean jacket that they had. That had like different patches. Everything was so expensive. Like my budget was literally like 20 bucks. I was like, maybe I can buy like a $20 shirt or poster or something. All the shirts and posters were sold out. No, all the posters were sold out. The shirts that were there were over $100. <laughs> So yeah, I really really wanted the Tron poster because I love that movie, I love that soundtrack, and you know, Daft Punk obviously, so I'm like, that would have been the perfect poster and they ran out. They said they might stock it again so they might be available on the weekend so I might have to go back just to see if they have that poster. Oh my gosh, I wanted that poster so bad and then they have the cool like little figures of Daft Punk which were awesome and they had the little action figures from the anime that they made from the album that I can't remember the name of right now because my mind is going blank but I actually have that uh, anime on DVD and I really wanted those figures too but I think they were like $300 or something just unaffordable basically they had you know the 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 whole setup you know they had the their piano the drums guitars which is awesome I love you know hearing their music you know the entire time I was there because I love it so it's so cool and it's funny because there was like rich people in there because you know this is West Hollywood close to Beverly Hills there's a lot of rich people and you know there's like this French lady talking to I don't know her son or something on the phone like okay what do you want what do you want like I'm just like oh my god like she can just like get anything I'm like dang I wish I had that much money hopefully one day I will just think this is temporary but hopefully um I think maybe I can buy some of the stuff online later I ran into a friend there and he actually bought something for his brother because his brother is a huge fan and he bought him like a $50 pen <laughs> I don't want to buy a pen because like I do like pens but usually when I buy like pens from like of a certain like a special pen of like a certain figure or show or something or movie like they don't last that long and I'm always scared of losing them so I didn't want to buy a pen especially $50 pen like they just run out of ink or they like fall apart or something that's my look with pens so the only thing I could buy that I could afford that was in my budget was this frisbee <laughs> Daft Punk frisbee which is pretty cool I kind of want to use it but then I don't I should have bought two but only one was in my budget so maybe if I go again and I get paid on Friday I can uh, buy another one because I, I would like to use it but right now I don't think I'm gonna use it just so they can like frame it or something but <laughs> this is literally all I could buy but apparently the guy said that there was a light up uh, frisbee that they had and that would have been cool to have but yeah those sold out pretty fast I actually really wanted some of the Alive tour memorabilia they had there but I don't think they had anything on sale because I didn't see anything on sale all I saw was was in the case because I actually got to see Daft Punk live like 10 years ago. Um, I'm super lucky. I feel super lucky I got to. And whenever I tell a Daft Punk fan I got to see him live, they're always like, I hate you, I hate you. I'm like, I know, you can hate me if you want. But, oh, I got to see him in Coachella. I think it was 2006, 2007. I don't remember the exact year because it was long ago. But it was my first Coachella and they performed in the Pyramid. And it was awesome and I had like a pretty good position in the crowd. Like I was... Not right in the front, but I was just like maybe a couple rows back. So, so freaking cool. Like, I felt like I was high. Like, oh my god. Like, seeing them with the pyramid is so awesome. So, I feel so lucky I actually got to see them live. So, that's why I wanted the memorabilia from that tour because I had the pyramid. <clears throat> so, it could kind of be like memories from that time, but I don't think they were selling anything from that. And they in Coachella, they performed in this big like dance tent and I remember there was this huge guy he was right next to me and he was being really annoying like he kept getting like like right here up in my face like all like in my stuff and I'm just like dude you're freaking huge like he was being really annoying like kept pushing me and stuff throughout the show and I was just like Ugh. you know I was like I'm not gonna let you ruin Daft Punk for me I you know was here early for them I've been dying to see them I'm not gonna let you ruin it so I had to just like try to like 
push them away the entire not the entire time but like most of the time that i was watching them but i was not gonna give in i'm like mm -mm, you're not gonna ruin daft punk i'm not gonna leave because your big butt doesn't want to move and then at one point like i felt like i was like <laughs> having a panic attack i couldn't breathe i was hyperventilating and i'm just like oh my god i need to leave but i want to see daft punk so bad so i just like you know what i don't care whatever i'm staying for daft punk i'm not leaving so i just i don't know i survived i survived whatever i was going through and <laughs> you know i did it for daft punk because i wanted to see them and i remember the next day in coachella like that's what everyone was talking about daft punk daft punk live and everyone who didn't see Daft Punk who was at Coachella just felt so bad because like, dang it, I missed it. It was such a good show. I'm like, yeah, it was an awesome show. I think it's ranked as like on different lists as like the best Coachella show ever. And I agree. Like I've seen lots of other bands, festivals, you know, stuff like that. And Daft Punk is, oh my gosh, it's the best. And it's so special too because it was just so once in a lifetime thing for me because I haven't seen them. I haven't been able to see them since. They rarely go on tour. There's always rumors of them going on tour, but I I always like I'm like, can you like not go on tour right now? Because I I can't really afford it. Can you wait a little bit? <laughs> I just hope they never perform at Coachella again because I don't want to go to Coachella anymore. You know, when I went that one time when I saw them, that was my first time going. Coachella was awesome back then. Now I hate going. Too overcrowded. It was way too expensive. You can't even buy single day passes anymore, which is stupid. I really hope they don't perform at Coachella. Please perform at Outside Lands in San Francisco. I've been there. That one's nice. Not as crowded. Or Lollapalooza in Chicago. I've been there too. I love Chicago. I would love to go to Chicago to see uh, Daft Punk again. I mean, at least the weather in San Francisco and Chicago is nice when those festivals happen. Coachella. It's like torture. You're just like, oh, you're so freaking hot. You're sweaty. Like, whoever thought of the dates for Coachella is an idiot. I'm sorry, but why would you have it when it's so freaking hot and people like you're, you're gonna like pass out? Like, no. I'm sorry. I'm I'm done. I've been to Coachella probably like three times. I'm done. Okay. So yeah, I prefer Lollapalooza, Outside Lands. Those are the other two I've been to, and I really liked it. I had fun, and the weather's better. Better, and just the atmosphere is just better not as packed so yeah please Daft Punk if you perform again do not perform at Coachella I don't care what anyone says don't go there it's just oh uh, people just go there not even for the music they just go oh because like it's cool and celebrities are here oh like oh, God. I want to go for the music so it's annoying to have people there that like taking up space and you know it's like you want to be in front but no some people that don't even care about the music are taking up the space there and it's like I could be there and I actually care about the music why don't you freaking leave you know so please Daft Punk, don't perform my Coachella, please don't. So anyway, I'm very happy I finally got to go to the Daft Punk pop-up shop. Maybe I'll go again for the poster, I don't know. I also wanted to try on poster because that soundtrack is probably one of my top soundtracks of all time. It's so, so good. I love the movie, I love the soundtrack, I love the band, so... I really wanted that Tron poster. By the time I upload this, it probably will be gone. So I would say go check it out <laughs> if, if uh, you haven't, if you're in West Hollywood around that area. But uh, yeah, it will probably be gone by the time you see this video. I feel very lucky I got to see it. That's one of the things I like about living in LA is like stuff like this comes here to LA or New York and they don't go to other places. So I'm glad I'm here because i'm closer daft punk love you guys don't perform at coachella ever again back then it was awesome now it stinks let me know if you guys love daft punk you know what's your favorite album favorite song my favorite albums are probably alive and the tron soundtrack i love those so much and my favorite song is aerodynamic i love that song so much I, they performed it when i was at coachella and i just i still remember when they performed in the little dun 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 I'm not gonna do it. But that whole little like guitar riff or whatever, I'm just like, oh my god! Like, I just went crazy. So I love that song so much. It's so good. And if you haven't listened to Daft Punk, check them out. Check out their older stuff. It's so good. To me, that's what dance music is. I mean, not just them. There's other artists like that. But some people, when they say like dance music, now they think it's like hip hop. I'm like, no, that's hip hop, not dance music. I can't dance to hip hop, especially the new hip hop. No, I like older hip hop, but this electronic stuff, that's what I consider more dance music. Anyway, but I'll let you guys go. I love them. Ah! So I went to the Daft Punk pop up shop again because I wanted to see if they had the Tron poster, uh, Tron Daft Punk poster, and I was in line for like two hours. The line was longer today because it was Saturday. 
and they didn't freaking have it so yeah like the i think the first guy gave me the wrong information because he said oh yeah we're gonna restock for the weekend he didn't talk like that but <laughs> so i went and they had other posters but they didn't have that one and then i asked an employee and he's like oh yeah since it was displayed like that one like was not actually for sale it was just there as a display i was like oh dang it so i came all the way here and they didn't have the poster i wanted but it was still pretty cool it's still worth it i did get some cool daft punk stickers it's like a pack daft punk right here just 20 bucks and several daft punk stickers and i like this because you can uh you know put, put them on several different things it's not just one or two so it was also one of the cheapest things I could find. There were other things there that were cheap, like coffee mugs, but those sold out. Dang it. There was some new stuff that wasn't there last time. There was like an interesting jacket, men's sweatpants that were just more for giants. They were just way too big. Other clothes, action figures I hadn't seen, caps. There's more merchandise this time. I didn't really have a big budget, so I'm happy with these stickers and the frisbee, but I don't think I'm gonna use the frisbee because I feel like it's gonna get messed up. If they had more frisbees, I might have bought another one, but I didn't see any more frisbees. Yeah, Daft Punk pop-up shop was pretty awesome. If it ever comes to your town, check it out.